Hello everyone, how you doing today? I'm here to talk about the one and only Mo3 and how he recently was uh, killed on the freeway in Dallas, Texas. It's a real tragic scene. Uh, I saw it on Facebook and when someone contacted me, a friend of mine on Facebook contacted me about it, I was like, for real, you know what I'm saying? Because you're always hearing that someone is dead or getting killed or shot or something like that and it's always a hoax but it's real this is real this man is gone and i know he's had his beef like most artists do you know all the way back to uh in my time frame uh people like Pac and biggie and 50 cent and and, and um rick ross and T.I. and Little Flip and, you know, um, just like various uh, Houston rappers that I can think about that like say like Switch Your House and um, uh, um, you know, Screwed Up Click or whatever, you know, every, every, the North and the South, you know what I'm saying, Dallas versus Houston, um, just uh, East versus West, you know. It's like a whole civil war in the rap game. So, uh, just there's something to think about that it's not worth it. You know, it's not worth uh, taking a man's life over whatever y'all got going. I know that I have a friend who told me her brother was shot in the leg over forty dollars, and I was like, that's not even that's not even life changing money. Like, you owe the guy. You went to jail and you're a guy, forty dollars worth of commissary, and he gets out, he comes and, and shoots you in the leg. That's crazy. So whatever whatever the beef may be, you know, there's some people out there that have ongoing family feuds, uh, that stay in the same town or I know here in my city is a you know, we have a twin city, it's Texas versus Arkansas and it's not worth it. It's not worth taking anyone's life over, you know, them banking, having success, or them having money, or who has the most money. And it's just crazy. You never know what's going to happen. You never know whose time it is, or who's coming after you, or any of that sort of stuff. So I just, man, he, he used to. Like, I liked his style when I first heard it. One of the first songs that I heard that I really picked up on was the uh, the, the Gangsta Love song, you know. Um, I like the video. It's uh, real funny at the end. And then there's one thing I can say about Mo3. He, um, he also did the uh, For the for the Pussy uh, thing challenge. And it, I thought it was funny. But he was like, he kind of reminded me of... Uh, Big Mo from Houston and you know he was like a rapper slash singer kind of like Charlie Boy or whatever and I that style right there is you know unmatched to me when you can vocalize and rap it's it's pretty cool you know and it's not something that you get every day I mean for someone to be um Short, like Kim, Kevin Hart, you know, they're staying tall, you know, because I mean, I'm on the short side, so I already know how the feeling is when you when you have to get out there and stand tall, stand for what you, you know, you know your craft and what you do, and you know, that's that's just that's tough. It's slumped over, shot dead in the freeway. Uh, that's not a good sight to, to see, you know, you ain't got a family, you know, ain't nobody trying to cut it, like, it's it's always, and you know, from a, from a Black Lives Matter, us standpoint, you know, from a us standpoint, it really sucks, I hate to see you killing me and me killing you, I hate that, I hate that, I hate that. I don't really want nobody. There's no thing, no, there's no time where I ever be like, wish death upon anyone, you know? Like 50 said, many, many, many men wish death upon me. So I don't understand. Like, put the guns down. Like, that is one thing that I'm, well, I, it is not gonna make you safer. It's not gonna, all it's gonna do is take lives. 
Like, if you out there in these streets, or even if you an innocent person, you out there with these guns, that's not gonna do nothing but give you. It's gonna cause pain. It's gonna cause a pain that you gonna. It's gonna cause regret. Like, I understand that. You know, at the at the time of you having the gun, you feel like oh, it ain't nothing to pull that trigger, and <laughs> I'm sorry that you feel that way. Um, I don't really feel that no man deserves to die. I like, kind of like Batman. So, Batman has a code. He feels like he believes in in, in justice and in, in honor, you know. Like, kind of like a lot of the, that's one of the, the Justice League's creos, you know. Um, that people can perform and be rehabilitated and, and, and things can change. Anything can happen. So, that's something to think about. You just, you really don't know what you got or what you've taken from the world until the world stands up and says, dang, I'm going to miss this man or dang, I'm going to miss this man's music or, you know, like, songs that don't get made, it's, you know, it, so, a song could probably change the world. I know it's some, um, there are some artists out there in the world who didn't fulfill all the music they could have or should have because they died for whatever reason. Like, people are still out there talking about how um, Pimp C uh, died and how he should still be here. And, you know, and anybody else who died of mysterious circumstances or whatever, especially someone who was died by the gun, you know. But they also say, live by the gun, die by the gun. Because in this man's lyrics, there's a lot of times where he was like, I keep a gun on me, you know. And... You know, that, like you said, they say you live by the gun, you die by the gun. And though he may have had issues with various other artists, I'll just leave them out of this because I, you know, I don't want any fingers pointing anywhere. But, you know, it's happening everywhere. So just stop the violence. That's all I'm saying right now. Stop the violence. It shouldn't be a thing. It shouldn't be an issue. It shouldn't be. You know, anything like that going on to the point where you have to go out and take a man's life or take a woman's life or whatever. Like, please, 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 y'all, just stop beefing. That's all I can say about it. Just, you know, leave it alone. Give it up. I mean, show love, not hate. I, if I listen to you, I ain't never been to, I ain't really just one of those people to go out because... You know, it's, it's not, it's not, it's, it's the corona thing and everything, and I don't know, I just ain't, I mean, I'm older now, so I don't really go to the club like I used to, or I don't go to concerts or anything, because, man, these days, getting out in public is dangerous. <laughs> oh, man, it's dangerous to the point where you can barely just go to Walmart and breathe in fresh air without um, possibly ending up sick or dead or whatever so these are trying times right now so like i can say chill out like seriously i don't guess the number one thing if you don't if you don't get anything else from this message chill out man chill out like we we as a people we should gotta stop killing each other there's some things you gotta let it go be the bigger person and you know i swear people will probably respect you more by letting some stuff slide then actually get out there and murdering somebody like um because that's all it is we out here killing each other for no real reason nothing nothing major other than a life taken and i appreciate y'all for tuning in um i mean i don't know what else to say other than stop the violence and chill out Hello YouTube world, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop hot content like this and stay tuned for the next video.